How do I even do this? Okay, so I just wanted to start recording because I'm really fucking just amped up. I was way more amped up before I started this video though because I had to set this shit up, which is another reason why videos never happen on this channel. I thought today, fuck it, I'm sick of whinging that I don't do what I want to do on my YouTube channel anymore. Yes, I just said YouTube, like tube. <laughs> What? I get very distracted, so strap in and prepare for that. I just wanted to start recording because I am sick to death of all this Shane Dawson hate. I am so sick of it and I need to speak about it. It actually makes me... I feel something when people talk about Shane the way they do. I thought maybe I could do something to help me focus, so I got out a curling iron and I'm gonna curl my hair. My hair's freshly washed, so I don't know how well it's gonna work, and I don't really know how to curl my hair. So it'll be a weird journey, but we're gonna do this. So I'm gonna do something I don't really know how to do while talking about something I'm not authorized to talk about, like I don't have the experience or like I don't know this person personally, but I just want to talk about it because I have no one else to listen to me. So, here we go. I don't know how I'm going to spin this because I think a lot of people will get angry at me. But maybe first thing we should do is talk about Shane's involvement in the whole James Charles. I just nearly said JC. Like, why? Does anyone call him JC? I don't even know. In the whole James Charles by sister... Cool. Is it this way? It'll go out that way. So I want it to go this way, don't I? I don't know. First of all, I know it's been said a thousand times, but like Tati's like, well, I don't even know how old she is. Everyone keeps saying she's like 40. For a start, that video was the first time I'd even heard about this bitch. Like, I have no idea who this bitch is. Second of all, I've forgotten my second point already. Wow, we're off to a fantastic start, Cheyenne. I'm using a viewfinder as my mirror, so you know, this is gonna be great. That video, I have never watched it. I've just kind of seen like commentary channels commenting on it, so I know enough. Probably not enough to be actually talking about it, but hey, these are my thoughts and this is how I feel about the situation. Feel free to, <laughs> feel free to like, Educate me further if you must in the comments. <laughs> what am I doing? Okay, it's really hard to talk about something serious when I'm doing this to my head. I need smaller chunks. My view on Shane being involved in the whole bi sister video, he probably was. But so what? She's a fucking 40 year old woman who can make a decision for herself. And if her decision is to go and put a YouTube video out exposing a 19 year old guy, then that's on her. Like she, at the end of the day, made the conscious choice to do this video, right? And I know all this stuff has been said already, so it's nothing new, but that's, I agree with that viewpoint. Anyone could tell me to do a video on anything and antagonize me enough, but I ultimately have to make the choice to actually make the video, right? Like, someone can't make the video for me. And I'm 35, okay, nearly 35. I'm not 35 yet. I'm a 34 year old who has made some pretty stupid choices in her life, but I still have that capacity to think, actually, what are the ramifications of me doing this? Like any action. And the fact that video is permanent, like did that not go through her brain that her doing this is gonna totally fuck someone up? Like it did? Obviously not. So she needs to work on herself. I need to do this side now. Like, she needs to work on herself and not blame other people and fuck your legal teams. Like, I don't know how the legal teams, well, I guess they're getting her money or whatever, but how they're not like, what are we defending here? You're Someone told you to do something and you did it. Like, fuck. I don't know. This is probably a really uneducated thing for me to be saying, but I'm saying it. So that's like my whole thing on the whole Shane Dawson um, telling Tati to fucking make a video about, what's his name? What's his fucking name? God, that's bad. James Charles. <sighs> so what? Like, 
as a Shane Dawson fan, I don't care. Another thing is, I feel, personally, this might be going off track here, but I personally think that Shane and Jeffrey are like, they were meant to meet each other because Shane was one extreme, Jeffrey was another extreme. They've both become friends and now they've kind of picked up a few of each other's traits. I'm not curling my hair anymore. <laughs> Shane, he's matured a lot. Jeffrey has also taken that step and I feel like that has happened. I don't know if it's a coincidence or not, but that has happened since he started hanging out with Shane. Now, I can't see Shane to have gone live on Instagram reacting to a video about him and going as insane as he did go in that little video before he met Jeffrey. Like, let's just fix this hair before we go any further. So I can't see Shane before, I, correct me if I'm wrong, but if some controversy, some controversy happened with him or whatever, like it has been over the last couple of years, him actually going live and reacting the way he did. Jeffrey, I can see doing that. Um, again, this is someone who hardly knows either of them. I don't know either of them at all. I only see what everyone else sees. This is just what I think. I'm not qualified, but this is my YouTube channel and my thoughts, and this is what I want to say. I do think that they both influenced each other, both both positively and negatively, in order for both of them to grow. The whole Jeffrey stepping away, not being part of the drama thing, that's of it, that I feel like that could be a Shane influence, right? So again, probably wrong, but that's what I think. Now, the things that people keep bringing up about Shane Dawson that he did 10 years ago is ridiculous. I, I Shane Dawson is not a pedophile. I make jokes like that all the time. Uh, you don't see them because I don't have the guts to film myself and put them on for every on show for everyone to see. Does that make me a pedophile? Uh no. <laughs> like Oh my god. The point I'm getting at here is that I'm not trying to steer people in this direction or try and change people's minds a little bit, but this is just my thoughts. My brain is going a million miles an hour and I cannot get the words out fast enough. What I'm trying to say is that 10 years ago, Shane Dawson was a completely different person on camera, might I add, to the person he is on camera today. 10 years ago, he was 10 years younger and he put his whole life in front of a camera uploaded it to YouTube. If I filmed my life 10 years ago and put all of the stuff that happened in my life on camera for everyone to see, I would probably be copying the exact same shit that he is right now. Take that however you like, but it's true. I've done mistakes. I'm sure Joe Bloggs down the street's done the same shit. It's just not been in the public eye. Yes, he had a big following. Maybe he should have been a little bit more. Oh my God, young people watch me. I shouldn't be doing this mentality. But he was like the only person doing it that I knew of. I started watching him because I was like, oh my God, he's doing all those things that you think about and everyone thinks about it, like, or jokes about it in private or whatever. But he's actually showing it to the world. That is why I fell in love with Shane Dawson. Because he'd say stuff that people are too scared to say. Whether he meant it or not, I don't think he did. When he was talking about fucking his cat, for example, I... He didn't fuck his cat. He was just saying things that... As himself, to get a reaction. And I can't... I don't understand how people think that the things he was saying on camera were actual things. Like, he obviously is playing a character. And I think... I honestly think that he was playing a character then and now he's not. He's grown up. Uh, he's 10 years older, for fuck's sake. And you can tell that everything he does now, he consciously doesn't want to piss people off. Because I was literally just watching a video of uh, the one where he cuts Ryland's hair. And every now and then he would say something and then you go, Oh, I hope I'm not offending that group. Oh, I hope that's not offensive. Because people are so butthurt that they get angry about any little offensive joke that people say. 
like he was doing Rylan's hair like really spikily or something and he's like oh I hope we're not offending some group by doing this and he gets that because everyone criticizes every single thing he does and you can see that he's trying to change whereas 10 years ago he'd be like oh I hope I'm offending these people so I'll get a reaction imagine for a second so Dexter my four-year-old, right? Lately, he's been taking a backward step in his toileting. Um, I don't know what it's from, but anyway. Imagine in 10 years time, when he's completely over that, he's fixed it, he's changed himself for the better, he no longer wets himself all the time, but I'm still calling him a bedwetter, even though he doesn't do it anymore. That sounds stupid, right? That's how stupid people sound when they keep bringing up all this stuff that Shane Dawson did years ago. People need to stop this cancel culture. It really, really makes me angry seeing these comments that people are like, he's a pedophile, oh, he was jacking off in front of a picture of an eight-year-old. He was doing it to make people react and I don't want to bring in the whole sexual uh, abuse thing or whatever, but like, that is how you deal with things. I am also, I'm not trying to start a pity party, nothing, but I'm a victim of sexual abuse. Like, I, that's how I deal with things. I laugh. I make light of really dark situations. I have really dark humour. And that's what Shane Dawson has. He has dark humour. So, cancel someone that deserves to be cancelled. Shane Dawson is not that person. Last year when he was popular, no one was trying to cancel him. But now, it's like cool or something. I don't know. And they're just bringing up all this old stuff that Shane Dawson did to cancel him now. And that's stupid! Obviously, it's not him now. He's not the same person he was 10 years ago. Look at the people that are backing him up. The closest people in his lives. They're the ones we've got to take word from. Morgan Adams summed it up perfectly by saying, imagine you've got a huge house and you've built this tiny little window that people can look in to see your life. So the house is your life. The window is YouTube. That's all we see. And I could be completely wrong, but I don't think I am. Otherwise, I wouldn't be making this video. So my view on Shane Dawson is that he is exactly the person that he portrays himself to be. 10 years ago, he was, what, 22? If you guys knew the stuff I was doing at 22, 10 years is a long fucking time and people change. Get over it. Honestly, I stand by Shane Dawson and I back him up and I'm proud to stand by him. No, I don't know him personally, but it doesn't matter because either do you. So how can you say these things from a character that was played on a YouTube channel 10 years ago? <sighs> and apart from that, there are way bigger issues right now. I know y'all are bored, you're at home, you've got locked down, so you're like, what can I do if I can't bully old mate at school because school's closed or I don't actually see normal humans, so I'm going to let all this stuff fucking influence my feelings on this. I'm not making sense, but I'm sure you get the point. Like, it's not something, it's, it's just stop, oh my god. You know what, let's have a conversation in the comments. If you disagree with me, let me know. And let me know why, because I kind of want to know. This is what I do. If I've got a different opinion to someone else, I can see their side of it and I try and make sure that they know that I can see their side of it so that we don't cause conflict. But fuck it. I am really passionate about this and I really am standing up for Shane Dawson because from my viewpoint... I do not understand why people are so... I understand why they would be, and I understand that I am not in the minority of people that he's, like, making jokes about. No, I'm not part of the minority of people that he um, bagged out or made jokes about. And I know that being in that minority of people, it must hurt to see these videos and stuff like that. But you've also got to think that they were not 
yesterday. They were not Shane Dawson now. They were Shane Dawson then, and they probably weren't his actual views on things. I think he just... I'm pretty certain that he was playing a character. I figured that out then. I still laugh at some of them. I don't know, come for me, whatever. Um, not all of them, because some of them are pretty bad, and I'm not saying that they're not bad. Um, where I'm coming from here is, like, it's for entertainment. And if you're not entertained by it, then don't watch it. It's not a personal attack at people. I personally believe that the things that he said and did in these videos that everyone is going on about and nitpicking at and trying to psychoanalyze him about, they are, it's a character, they're for entertainment, they're not things that he actually believes. He self-deprecates all the time. Some of the things that he'd say or do, in, like actions that he'd... Some of the actions and some of the things that he'd say and do about other minorities, he has probably said and thought a lot worse about himself in videos, but no one's talking about that, are they? It's not an excuse, but it's, some, it's just maybe a something to think about. A 22, 24, 25 year old male who's one, struggling with his sexuality, has been abused in the past, he's growing up, hormones, you know, men don't mature until they're about 30. There's a lot of factors as to reasons why he was the way he was and he got the shock value and he became very popular because of it. I didn't see YouTube demonetizing him then when everyone liked him, but now because no one likes him, well not no one, but there are people that are just jumping on the bandwagon and being offended for other people that um, they demonetize him. It's so wrong. It's stupid. I wish I could just articulate how I'm thinking right now, but I'm sure you get the point. Okay, that's my rant. Thank you for watching. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't end up curling my hair. I just, I couldn't. But I'm probably going to put it in the title anyway. Fire!